Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. Today I want to go over Face ID and it in comparison to Touch ID. So there were like a couple different videos, maybe three videos that I watched today on Face ID uh, and trying to fool it. Uh, I Justine has one, uh, Jonathan Morrison from TLD Today, uh, for all you old school folks that know that name. Um, he has one up there. So this article here um, goes over the speed of Face ID. So people are kind of putting Face ID under a microscope now. They're, you know, trying to analyze whether this is better than Touch ID, if it's a fail, if it's great. And honestly, Face ID appears to be really, really good and really solid. However, this, this headline is a little bit misleading. Um, so it says Face ID unlocks an iPhone more slowly than Touch ID, but is faster in day-to-day -day usage. So that's kind of confusing to most average people that are gonna read that. They're gonna be like, what? What does that mean? So let me break it down a little bit for you guys so you guys can understand this a little bit easier. So basically what this guy did, um, he took his iPhone 10 and he timed how long it took him to scan his face and unlock and open the phone. And he did that versus uh, Touch ID. And what he found was doing that versus Touch ID is actually significantly longer. So you can see right here, it took 1.2 seconds for the guy to unlock the iPhone 10 from pressing the side button on the side of the device and another 0.4 seconds to swipe up to get into the lock screen. While getting to the home screen on an iPhone 7 Plus using Touch ID took only 0.91 seconds. So clearly there's a huge advantage uh, for Touch ID here. And so you may be thinking, okay, well, Face ID sucks. Let's uh, not get the iPhone 10, but not so fast there. Um, so basically what he did then was he was gonna put it into real world usage. Like how does this compare when you're actually using your phone? Uh, and he put up a tweet here, I'll pull it up. You guys can watch this for yourself and uh, decide. So this is with Face ID, he taps on an icon and it opens. This one he had to tap on it and then scan his finger. So it is clearly faster with Face ID um, rather than Touch ID in this in instance. However, how many of you guys actually touch on a notification and then like unlock your phone? Like no one does that. Maybe you'll start doing it more, but that's just not how I use my phone. Like what he's doing here. I like to pull it out of my pocket. I use Touch ID as I'm pulling it out of the pocket so that it's ready when I'm, you know, when I pull it out. So slightly uh, misleading there, I guess, but nonetheless, it is faster in that situation, or at least relatively. It's just an interesting thing overall here. Um, if you guys are worried about Face ID, honestly, I'm not even that worried about it anymore. After watching the reviews and people's first impressions of it, it seems very solid. They couldn't fool it in most videos. Actually, I don't think I saw one that they could fool it. Uh, if you're a twin, yeah, it can get fooled, but what do you expect? For speed, I mean, it's a little bit slower than Touch ID, but it's different. It's like a whole different mechanism, so it's something else to get used to. And depending on how you use your phone, apparently it could be a little faster. So I wanna know your guys' thoughts on Face ID. I am super excited for Friday. I cannot wait uh, to get my iPhone 10. It's going to be awesome. Uh, so many of you guys have requested an unboxing video, so I will more than likely do one. Um, don't quote me on it, but I probably will. And uh, so look forward to that. If you guys are getting your phone on Friday, uh, you guys are probably just as excited as I am. So drop a comment down below if you guys are excited too. So that's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up, subscribe. I've got way more iPhone 10 videos coming for you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.